what is your situation? He, one of them said, you know, we are very poor, uh, but we have no water, no electricity, and see... No the, hygiene. No, no, nothing. Mm -hmm. See the situation in which we live. We were ashamed to take pictures because it was a very, very bad, unacceptable sanitary situation for human beings. So we were happy to come here last year in uh, Runtak and our friends and colleagues of Apsara told us, look what the government has decided to do. He chose two important places a bit far from Angkor and he is giving to the squatters a piece of land where they could live, they can live. This is a very strong decision. We, we cannot see in many places in the world that a government asking the squatters to leave is offering them a land. Some critique and some newspapers so far always said that uh, Apsara National Authority or Cambodian government has uh, forced people from Uncle Park to other two places and today you are like a witness and you have uh, visited uh, Runda Egg and uh, 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 places and then uh, I just want to get your general uh, opinion, general yes. view on that, please. Yes. yes, I think this is a very important question. Uh, it is important because we are faced with uh, a situation uh, where uh, the government of uh, the Kingdom of Cambodia uh, is asked uh, uh, by uh, the international community since the inscription of the site of Angkor to protect this site, to manage this site and of course to make sure that there are no intrusion into the site. What we have seen during the last few years, uh, we have seen that unfortunately uh, inside the park, because uh, Angkor is a big park, it, it was inscribed because of its uh, very exceptional monuments in 1992. It was inscribed also because its nature, the trees, and also the inhabitants inside the park. So when uh, it was inscribed, I was present in, uh, in Santa Fe in the United States, December 1992, when the site was inscribed on the World Heritage List and at the same time on the World Heritage List in danger. But th at that time, the danger was not the presence of squatters. The danger at that time was the fact that, unfortunately, this country suffered from a long war, uh, a genocide, and therefore there were no institutions capable for dealing with such a big site. Uh, there was no legislation uh, to protect the site. There was no budget to uh, manage the site and therefore UNESCO and its director general at that time said to the World Heritage Committee we UNESCO we are going to support Cambodia to work with the Cambodian authorities and in particular with uh, the then uh, Minister of Culture Mr. Van Morivan. So I was with Mr. Van Morivan and with my friend uh, Professor Az Azedin Beshaouch who was the previous president of the World Heritage Committee in Carthage and he was present to the World Heritage Committee in Santa Fe, United States. And all together we discussed with the members of the committee and I was at that time director of the Division of Cultural Heritage at UNESCO. I had instructions by my director general Mr. Federico Mayor, Munir, you have to support as much as possible Cambodia because uh, he quoted Munir, I received His Majesty Prince Sihanouk and Prince Sihanouk after the peace agreement in Paris 1991 said one of our priority in Cambodia is to have Angkor on the World Heritage List. So this is the history. This is the history to show that the international community accepted this, the inscription of the site and the support to Cambodia. After a few years, the government of Cambodia has got a law, has got a budget, has got an administration, 
created Apsara. So it was removed from the World Heritage List in danger and became a normal World Heritage Site. Few years later, in 2014-2015, UNESCO recognized Angkor as the example of a best practice for World Heritage. So then we saw in the years 2015-2016 that more and more when we were visiting the site of Angkor and we were coming here uh, at the request of UNESCO, at the request of the government of Cambodia, and we, uh, and of course, we were reporting to both the government and to UNESCO, UNESCO. about the very important uh, workshops, uh, uh, very heavy work on uh, very important temple, the Bafuon, the Bayon, the Taprom, uh, uh, the Takeo, etc. All these temples received the support of the international community with France, Japan, China, India, uh, and, and many countries, Korea, etc. Italy, Germany. Uh, so we were very happy, but we were worried because each time we are going, I give one concrete example, going to the uh, 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 Tom, Temple, temple, the Korean, uh, uh, near the Terrace of Elephant. We were looking at the uh, augmentation year after year of people installing mm -hmm. their shops, installing their small houses. And then we started to write in our document, document please, government of Cambodia, please, Apsara, see by which way you can see, uh, save the problem of squatters. What is a squatter? A squatter is a person who, unfortunately, not having a place where to live, not having a place where to uh, make his life, he finds a way here and there. Here and there it was inside the site which is inscribed on the World Heritage List. So this is the real problem that we are facing that Cambodia was facing in 2017, the expert made a recommendation which was very strong, saying now there, is too, there are too much squatters also near Angkor Wat. The, the, that means near one of the most symbolic temples of the site of, of the Angkor. site of the whole site. You should do something to find a solution for the squatters. What solution? The government of Cambodia is not a very rich government, so it cannot uh, ca uh, take the people and immediately bring them somewhere else. The solution which was presented to us last year, during the last uh, uh, meeting of the ICC, the International Coordination Committee, is, look, now we have a solution. It's a big solution. And we were really surprised, but we wanted to see during the meeting in Siem Reap, we saw documents, we saw maps presented by uh, Her Excellency Minister of Culture, uh, uh, Mrs. Fern Sakona, presented by His Excellency the Director General of Apsara, Mr. Hong Pe. And then they said that if you want to see the real situation of the squatter, please come with us on the site. So we spent one day visiting in the site what was the situation of the squatters. And I can say, because I ask people, I ask three women when we were walking, what is your situation? One of them said, you know, we are very poor, uh, but we have no water, no electricity, and see... No the, hygiene. No, no, nothing. Mm -hmm. See the situation in which we live. We were ashamed to take pictures because it was a very, very bad unacceptable sanitary situation for human beings. So we were happy to come here last year in uh, Runtak and our friends and colleagues of Apsara told us, look what the government has decided to do. He chose two important places a bit far from Angkor and he is giving to the squatters a piece of land where they, could live, they can live. This is a very strong decision. We, we cannot see in many places in the world that a government asking the squatters to leave 
is offering them a land. We don't, we don't know that <laughs> the, the, this is possible. It is possible. We Here, see it. in Cambodia. We, it... Saw, we saw the piece of land, 20 on 30, and I spoke to the, some of the population and they said, oh, it will be good if we can have a, a, a place. Meanwhile, we were receiving at UNESCO, we were receiving at UNESCO office in Cambodia, letters and also articles saying, but you know, uh, there, uh, there is a decision of move, moving 10,000 people by army, it is not correct. These people who wrote this article are not informed properly. They are not having a, a real work of a journalist. Normally, there is an ethic in the uh, communication uh, uh, department. If you know that there is something wrong, you go and you see on the site. You go and speak with the people. My colleagues at Apsara were surprised. So I think that now it is important for the government of Cambodia to show concretely the situation of these squatters here in Runtaik and to see the, the way this decision was done in line with the recommendation of UNESCO. UNESCO is recommending when you have a site on the World Heritage List, you should make all efforts to protect it. So we, experts coming from different countries, Japan, France, Italy, we are having a similar opinion. I say it very clearly to those who are asking me, but why you are saying that it is a, a good operation? Uh, maybe you are paid. I said, unfortunately, <laughs> this is exactly our situation. When Apsara and when the government of Cambodia started to ask to have each year, two times a year, experts ad hoc on architecture, on archaeology, on development, the, the request from the member state is, but these experts should be free. So, They are, if, the, if we find high-level experts who are able to come without being paid, we will be happy. We are not paid. We are only invited to come to Cambodia to examine, to examine the site and to make recommendations. And we are responsible for this recommendation. We recommend, we recommended to Cambodia to take measures to solve the problem of the squatters. So this is what I can say. And I am ready to contact these journalists, to sit with them and to explain to them But we, and I, I am an archaeologist. I was the director of cultural heritage in my country. I had problem of squatters. It's not something which is only in Cambodia. It happens. We have to find the, the appropriate solutions and the solutions which are respecting people. There is a sentence, I, I conclude with this, there is a sentence that was to came to my heart directly yesterday from Her Excellency Mrs. Sakona, from His Excellency uh, Mr. Hankpe. He said, these squatters are Cambodians. We are not dealing with, with people that we don't know. They are Cambodians. They are poor, but they are Cambodians. This is the message that we should transmit to the communication people, to the journalists, saying these squatters are treated as human beings. They are not slaves. They are not people uh, having no rights. And the right which is given to us, to them, is unique. When a country is not uh, following the principle of conservation and protection and management of World Heritage Site, there are missions from the International Council of Monuments and Sites, and we are doing every five years for each big region of the world, Asia, Europe, Africa, Latin America. We, we are doing what we call state of, of conservation of, and each year we have presentation to the World Heritage Committee of problems which are occurring. Sometimes they are uh, natural uh, hazards, natural disasters, you know, earthquake, for example, in, Iraq, in uh, Syria and, and Turkey recently. There are World Heritage, Heritage sites which were uh, damaged. So UNESCO or wars, for example, we have many wars, unfortunately, in Middle East, in Africa. 
the sites in these countries are put on the world heritage in danger. The case of squatters, if it was not solved, yeah. one day e-commerce would come to uh, Cambodia and said, uh, the site is not protected and these squatters are, are doing damage to the value of this site. And therefore, it cannot be removed like this, but it can be put on the world heritage list in danger. Again? We, again. Okay. We have done all, all efforts with my, of colleagues and friends to remove uh, Angkor in uh, 2004 from uh, the World Heritage List in India, and we don't want to see it again on the World Heritage List. But I repeat, what Cambodia government, what Apsara is doing, is doing in relocating in a human manner, is something that should be shown. These are human Cambodians, and therefore people who are saying that there is no respect for human rights, they are uh, they are transported by military uh, uh, lorries. It is not true. I, because my problem is I have seen, I have seen the lorries taking the, the sheets, taking the material to, to help. I have seen today two sites where the army is working to build the road, to, to bring the water, to bring electricity. All this didn't exist for the squatters in, in Hong Kong. So I think that you, member of the journalist community, communication, you should do a lot to explain what is the reality in the field. So maybe uh, from your point of view, people have not forced to leave uh, Uncle Park, but they are, uh, how, to, how to call it, uh, they have been relocated to better, better places. Ab absolutely. You know, when you see here a uh, few a kilometer from this very nice village uh, in Runtaek, we have seen this time, after have, having visited the site in December 2022, we have seen now in June 2023, the immense progress. And the progress that you can, you know, measure is the fact that there is a school and that the children are already in the school in Runtaek. So it means Cambodian government does respect human rights because uh, when they were on the uh, Uncle Park, they were no electricity, no water, no uh, hygiene. It no. means they were no right. I mean, no, right they, to live. Uh, no, by contrast, uh, you know, what is your, what, what is your comment? <laughs> My comment is <laughs> what we have seen uh, in the site occupied by the squatter last year is something unacceptable in terms of human rights. You cannot accept men, women, children not having water, running water, not having electricity, not having possibility of evacuation. I mean, nothing existed. It was um, uh, something which was very, very uh, bad. Condition uh, of living. The, con the sanitary condition were totally unacceptable and this was against the human rights the absolutely <laughs> when you are living in a place where you have no water we have no electricity you know no possibility to they had no land title properly and, and there, there were squatters what means the, the meaning the squatter. of squatter you are occupying a land of someone else the land in Angkor is belonging to the government you cannot go imagine i come to your house and I install myself. I can't, this is not acceptable. This is what happened. But they are not punished. They are not put in prison. They are given a piece of land and they are given the condition to live human, humanly in a human manner. And all the facilities are done. We can, people should come here. They have the school, they have the pagoda, they have the hospital. They didn't have all this. Being a squatter in Angkor, was and I, I spoke to people, you know. I, I, I unfortunately I don't speak Khmer, but my colleagues translated to me. They told me we are so happy to be relocated. Thank you so much, uh, Bu Chnaki, Bu Bu Chnaki Professor. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much uh, for the interview. Thank, thank you. you so much.